in the Salah Sashi were for Islamic law, the Nikah, the Nikah is a contract. It is a business contract, actually. Okay. Ibn Qudama, he refers to it as a business contract in his uh, Kitab al Nikah and the Kitab Mughni. In the sense that now there are rights but that are being put both ways, yeah? And Nikah is not necessarily talking about the fully fledged marriage where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمَةً uh, in Surah Al Rum, where you know he's put between your heart's love and mercy, and it's like a fully fledged situation where you have full rights. That nikah can be done uh, ad hoc way, and yes, in that in that situation, that nikah, and I'm going to use the Arabic terminology, that can be done. But we said that when that person now becomes of adult age, which they're free. When, okay, which is when puberty. So as soon as a person reaches puberty, because, they're yeah. an adult. That's what you're saying, yes? Yeah, so it depends on what culture we're talking about. Because in, in Usul Fiqh, there's something called al Arf. So Islamic law is not just the, uh, it's not just what you find in the Quran and Sunnah. There's also other what you call Masadr of Tashriya. So for example, one of those is al Arf, which is culture. Uh, one of the principles of Islamic law is al Arf Muhakkam, that culture dictates what kind of action is to be taken. So everything is contextual. If, for example, a nation, yeah, let's say it's a Muslim nation, they decide to put the, the minimum age of marriage, a nikah, as a particular age, then that has to be respected. Because if, if it's not respected, that would be disobedience to the authorities, which is Islam disallows, and can actually issue punishments for. So depending on what the culture dictates, if we're talking about a, let's say, 21st century culture, in the Muslim world, then uh, quite frankly, yeah, I mean, it can't, it can't happen like that, yeah. So in terms of like reaching puberty, so in terms of like girls, as soon as she starts menstruating, you're saying then she's old enough to be married? No, I haven't said that. I'm, I'm asking a question. No, no, no. I'm I said that, that even before puberty, the nikah can be put in place. Oh, yeah? okay. But when she gets to an age where she's able now to have intercourse... Oh, yeah, now, okay, well, that's different. That's different from actually just reaching the, the stage of actually yeah. menstruating. No, I agree with that. Because there are many Muslims... No, I agree with that. There are many Muslims who will say, as soon as she starts menstruating, no, 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 then no, she's no, ready. Definitely there are not. many who say... Yeah, yeah, that's wrong. Hence the reason why you have so many child brides throughout the Islamic world. Yeah, yeah, but we have to define what we mean by child brides. Yeah, yeah. Much beyond the, the, the wedding day. All right, exactly. So if that no, I'm not first of all I'd like to see this I'd like to see the stats for that because I think there's more evidence of that by way of Western culture than there is in the Middle East. Yeah. No, but you're talking about Western well, when we're, we're talking about America, for example, where this happens quite yeah. we're talking about Holland where in the red there's light seven, district there's uh, uh, we're, we're talking about UK where there's a slavery act. Yeah, yeah. which well, by the way, sorry, we're talking about UK which is a slavery act, which in that act it says it, it, it gives us a, a statistics of how many girls that are under whatever age are human trafficked and sold into whatever. We're talking about white men. Yeah, sorry, Tim. No, 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 no. <laughs> no white, white English, uh, you know, English men. You know, I'm not saying all of them are like that, but they go to Thailand and uh, buy do. a boy but or something. We all know that's wrong. And we all no, no, know that's no, no, but what I'm saying, no, no, but what you're I'm saying comparing. is, no, but you've made a sociological point. You're, you're, no, you're, I made a theological point. No, no, the, which let is me, your, what's your, your name? religion. Your religion. What's your name? You can call me Ado. Ado? Yeah. You made a sociological point when you said that in the Muslim world, you said this way, you said in the Muslim world, well, hold, the Muslim hold, hold on, you said in the Muslim world, yeah. there are many girls who don't survive the first night. Correct. I'm saying that I would like to see what statistics you are citing, because we actually have statistics in the West that indicate to us the extent to which human trafficking is actually a thing. Yeah. In this country, for example, I cited as the Slavery Act. There are, there are statistics that show how many people, by the way, women, and if you look at the Slavery Act and how many girls are, that are under a certain age are human trafficked in this country and in the West in general, you'll find that a lot of them come from other parts of the world. Yeah. Like, for example, from Poland, uh, we're talking about from Africa and so on. Yeah. So why I don't know what this hyperfixation of talking about the Muslim world is when uh, it's happening on our doorsteps that people are being is, literally sold. It is. Probably in your area, I, in London. I agree. I totally agree. The difference is this. The people who are doing that, whether they're traveling to Thailand, whether it's doing it, happening on my doorstep, those people by and large are not saying, I'm doing this because I have the green light from Almighty God. Whereas, That's it. No, whereas no, 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 throughout, no. throughout the Islamic world, there are many people, many men who marry child yeah, you're, you're, because they take the example from, from the Islamic prophet, him okay. himself taking a so, child bride, okay. and therefore they're saying that's the difference. Okay, well, the, no, no, hold on. The, the example of the, the Islamic prophet was there was a, there was a respite period. 
So why did he, if this was the case where you could just marry whatever age you want, why didn't he just, why didn't he just consummate the marriage as soon as he married her? Why did he wait three years? I'm, all I'm saying no, is... Can you answer this question? No, hold on, hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll come to it in a second. I'm just saying that they're following the so-called prophet, the Islamic prophet. They're, they're following... No, no, his, but you, I, I've responded to that by saying... His example. Yeah. If, they were example. if they were following the Islamic prophet, the, the thing is, with this, uh, the issue here, the issue of, you're talking about marriage. Yes. We're saying, here's, what, here's my stance on the matter. Let me be very clear about it. When it comes to fully fledged understanding, conventional understanding of marriage, where intercourse is understood as well, we say so long as it causes harm, it should be stopped. That's my understanding. Now you may ask who gets to define harm? Because that's a very valid question. I say the specialists get to define harm. How do, you, how, do I define, how do I prove that from the Islamic paradigm? I prove that through two evidences. One of them is where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, ahli dhikri in kuntum la ask the people of specialism if you don't know. And the other one is in the hadith of the Prophet, where he says, Man wa lam yakun nafsan That whoever acts as a doctor and he's not known as a doctor and he is he harms somebody, then he's responsible. Therefore, my understanding is if somebody is physically and psychologically capable of intercourse. Whatever age that is, I don't see it as an immoral thing for that person to engage in a fully fledged relationship. Now, the West has confused itself as to what that age should be. Some parts of the West say it should be 14 years old. Some say, no, it should be 15 years old. Historically, it went back to 10. Delaware had a seven, by the way. Delaware, this is 100 years ago. Delaware, the state in America, the age of marriage was seven. In 1929 in this country, the Marriage Act changed the age of consent from 12 to 16. Now, we, are, we, we believe paedophilia is, sorry Ado, let me just continue. We believe paedophilia is anything that, anyone that has sex with someone under the age of 16. I'm saying to you that this is a very recent contemporary phenomena. Now, what I'm proposing is that if we want to call something almost a psychological disorder, which is paedophilia, right? Psychological disorder, it must have, and by the way, interestingly, in the psychological literature, it's not actually this. Psychological literature, the way they define children, is not the way that the law defines children. So when one looks at the historical record, the psychological literature, the medical literature, we'll find that actually there isn't a age which is fixed that says this age is where you become a pedophile and this age is where you become a normal member of society. So if you're in Russia and you have a 14 year old uh, sexual partner, you're following the law. But if you had the same exact setup in the UK, you're a sex offender. Yeah. We say that's a, that is an unusual way of labeling the public. We say that's an unscientific manner of which you're dealing with this uh, situation. And we would say you, it's, upon the, it's upon you to show that whoever it is that's making the argument that it should be 16 and not say 15 and not say 14. And I would go further than this and say, it could also be noted that you can have people over the age of 16 that from the Islamic perspective, it would be not allowed to marry them. For example, if you have a 17 year old girl, but she's let's say malnourished or she has a, a, a sexual, um, some kind of ailment or something like that, or a man that has a disease or whatever it is, it would be immoral from an Islamic perspective for that man to be in a sexual relationship. Even though it's over the age of 16, like I said to him before, if I have intercourse, well, not me, or here's somebody else, some big man, <laughs> has the intercourse with a centurion, what's it called, centurion, like 100 year old person, having sex, this and that, hold the, the clavicle, go, you know, I could kill the person. Now, in this, according to this law, I would not, nothing would happen. I can have sex with a 100 year old, 90 year old, 80 year old. You know, I can go to the old folks' home and close the door and Let's do what I want. No, 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 I'm, I'm just saying that the idea is flawed. When you say, for example, let me ask you a question. Let me be honest. Let me, sorry, let me ask you a 15 year old woman. Yeah, with, with big hips and a strong body. Who would be harmed more in a sexual intercourse? Her or a hundred year old woman who's in her last days of her You're life? Deflected. You're deflected. No, I'm, I'm not about, deflected. I'm asking we're a simple question. About children. I'm not we, know, I'm we know that puberty starts at different ages for different I'm not talking people. about we puberty. I'm talking about harm. I'm, I'm, ta I'm talking about that because it's relevant to what we're saying. I'm, I'm we know saying that, that that changes depending on the person. So some people may reach the age of puberty at 13, some people may reach the age of puberty at 16. We know this. Mm -hmm. But we're saying that. But I'm not mentioning puberty either. I didn't I'm, say I'm, I said harm, by I'm, the way. But I'm mentioning it. Okay, and fine. So the point is, the reason why in the context of this conversation and asking questions, I said there are many Muslims who say that as soon as a girl starts menstruating, then she's ready. Okay, but as I said, the Prophet goes against this because the Prophet he said in the hadith, la darar wa la dirar. There is no harming or reciprocating harm. 
this is a general principle in Islam. In fact, the Usulis, the, 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 the people who are specialists in uh, principles of jurisprudence, they say one of the guiding principles of Islam is at dararu yuzel that harm is to be averted. And by the way, Ash-Shatabi, who is seen as the master of this topic, which wrote a book called Muwafaqat in the 8th century, he said that principles in Islam, or Qawaid, are more encompassing than individual evidence. And you may say, how could it be the case that a principle is stronger than an evidence, like a Quran, Sunnah evidence? He said, because the principle is composed of many evidences. So that the fact that one of the principles of Islam is that harm is to be averted, is not just something that Liberals say the harm principle, by the way. So you could do whatever you want. So like, we have a stronger thing than that. We say you're not allowed to cause harm to yourself as well as other people. So what we're saying is this, is that you're, all of the scenarios you're bringing are situations where harm is caused. I'm saying any situation where it can be established uh, beyond a reasonable doubt that any harm is caused, uh, and that can be said by specialists of that area. We will say it's haram to do it. Haram. Is that, is that physical and psychological? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Both, yeah? It is. Well, it is so, haram. But the point is that many there are many child brides within the Islamic world okay. because of the following the example of your. Okay. Profession. Can you give me some examples and stats, please? There are plenty. There are plenty of child brides. The no, no, no. I want and to. And then, where, where, where? Then you try to. Where make, is it? Then you try to make the parallel between what's happening about human trafficking. Are you saying they're making in the no, West? Shalom. In the West. That's it, you're trying to I'm asking, the where's, where's in the, the West? Yeah, yeah. They're not claiming to be following God. Okay. All right. Okay. We're talking about people who are doing yeah, this yeah, yeah. because they're following the example. Can you give me some examples? Well, let me finish. Give that. me some examples. Well, let, let me finish. Yeah. Because because of what Islam says that Muhammad is the greatest example to all humankind. Yeah, okay. A man who married a six-year-old girl. Okay. Well, as I said to you before, he didn't have intercourse with her. That Until she was nine. Well, well, that's the point. The point is, why did he wait? The question is, why did he wait? My question is, why is did that, he wait? Is that a virtue for him to wait why until no, she was nine? No, no. Why did he wait? When did she start? No, no. Why when did, did she start? Why did, did he wait? Why did he wait? I yeah. don't know why he waited. You tell me no, why no, no. he waited. Why doesn't it? Because the idea that you're trying to spring forward to us today, well, hold on, is that you're making the argument that Islam encourages... Yeah. Following the example. In following the example of Prophet Muhammad yeah, right. and therefore people get married to youngsters Indeed. who are harmed yes, because they are following. Now I'm saying to you, I've already explained the evidences that the Prophet himself disallowed harm. Okay, we've also got an additional evidence that Aisha had well, waited three to four years actually. Yeah. Now my question is, nine. okay, my question is, if it was unrestricted, then why wait? By the way, just let me tell you something. In the, in the four schools of Islamic thought, by the way, there's ijma, there's consensus that you cannot be an adult before the age of nine and that you are an adult at the age of 15. That's where the, that's where the thing is. So from between nine and 15, we say that's where adulthood is. Okay. Okay, so between nine and 15. Just because we have a different understanding of what adulthood is, it doesn't mean to say that the West is right. Now, now, here, my question is now, we're saying it can be anywhere between 9 and 15. Yeah. 9 and 15. Now, but how, having said that, even if a 15-year-old, 16-year-old, 17-year-old is physically incapable of uh, giving rights of the husband or the wife, if it's, a person, if it's a male or female, depending on what they are, if they're physically incapable, then they would not be allowed to get into... Uh, if they do get into a marriage, then that would, they would be sinful. The community would be sinful. The persons who know that they have this baggage with them is sinful. Everyone is sinful. So what I'm saying is that you're saying that Islam allows something. I'm saying that Islam denies it and that there's strong evidence. In fact, I would like to know anything as restrictive as Islam. I would like to know, the, I would like to know, I would like to know anything as restrictive. Look at the Bible, for example. Hold on. You mentioned the Quran. My point is that if you look at the Bible, there's nothing that restricts that. In fact, in the book of Numbers, you're a Christian, right? You got the cross, right? In the book of Numbers, chapter number 31, verse number 18, it's mentioned that Moses, when he goes into uh, uh, the, 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 the nation, that you can take the young girls for yourself. Now, according to the Babylon Talmud, according to the, the Talmud or the, the Jews, they said that taking the young girls for yourself were, were girls that had never known a man yet, by the way. These, these girls, by the way, had been understood for thousands of years by Jewish people to be girls that can be enslaved by men, okay? There's no abrogation of this anywhere in the Bible. So my, my scriptures, as I've just mentioned to you, disallow the harm that is caused by the sexual intercourse. Your scriptures have no such disallowance. But the reality is that many girls are harmed. Okay, you're making because the same point over again. Are you, are you saying that? Many, many, many girls are the. That's the reality. 
Okay, you're many girls are being harmed yeah, okay. throughout the Islamic world. I'm making a scriptural argument right now. Okay, throughout the Islamic world, many girls are being harmed because of this. Okay. Through, within Christianity, we follow the example of Jesus. Okay. That's what the example we're following. Okay. Now, Islam says that Muhammad is the greatest example for all human kind. Okay. I'm saying that Jesus Christ. Okay, great. Is, wait, let me finish. Of course. Is the greatest, greatest example for all humankind. Whereas even the even the, the Quran says that Jesus never sinned. Even the Quran says that Jesus was born of a miracle. Okay, brother, let me ask you a question. But but yeah. was Muhammad without sin? No, he wasn't. Okay, that's what you're saying. But here's what no, I'm no, saying. No, 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 no. I'm saying what the Quran says. No, the Quran, it the Quran it. says that Jesus was without sin. Okay, look, we agree so that I'm, he was so without sin. So I'm saying that Jesus is the greatest example okay. for all humans. Oh, no, oh, no, please, please, bro, 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 one second. Let me just let me come back, right? Go on. My question to you is this, yeah? Do you believe that having sex with a child, in your understanding of it, someone who's, let's say, prepubescent and incapable, that we both agree that that person is a child, both of us would agree, right? A four-year-old, for example, a five-year-old. We all agree a five-year-old is a child, a six-year-old is a child, okay? okay. Yes. Having sex with that age, yeah? Do we both agree that that's immoral? That's wrong? Yes. Okay, no problem. Do we agree that it's immoral in all times and all places? Uh, yeah. Okay, so, it's, so, uh, so, so I, I would say that was wrong, yes. Yeah, okay, yeah. It's, it's wrong in all times and places. Now, Jesus Christ, you believe in the Trinity, correct? I believe in, in the God of the Bible. Right, so Jesus Christ was, uh, the tri was is part of a triune Godhead, correct? Right, All right. Okay. which means he's the author of the Old Testament, correct? Right, okay. Correct. So if he's the author of the Old Testament, he is the one in the book of, oh, wait, let me finish. He's the, he's the one in the book of Numbers, chapter 31, verse number 18, mm -hmm. that's telling the people to have, to take the young girls for yourself. So was Jesus Christ, who you say is, wait, hold on, who you say is the guide, who you he say- He's the example. Uh, he's the example. He's the, uh, okay. Uh, 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 okay. He's so, the example. Okay, no problem. Jesus Christ, who is the example? Who is the he guy? Who's the one without sin? He, he commanded to sin, correct? He, he did not command to sin. So, so wait a minute. So what, what it says in, 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 in Numbers chapter 31 verse 18, is it a sin or not? Listen, I'm not saying that you're allowed to do that at all. So, so Jesus was wrong? Going, no, I'm not saying Jesus was wrong. So what Jesus, is it then? It's Jesus, dilemma, isn't it? No, Jesus, Jesus is right. So Jesus, Jesus is right to have sex with Jesus, the girls? No, no, no I'm not saying that. Does he say have sex with her? He could take them for say, yourself. Does take it them for say yourself. have sex with them? Take them for yourself. Take them for yourself. Does it say have sex with them? What are you going to do with them? Does it say have sex with them? You, have, you can do more than have sex. Does it say have sex with it? You can do more than it that. It doesn't say have sex with it. Well, you can do well, the more point, than that. The point is, the point is, with your prophet, we know that he married a six-year-old girl. No, no, Let no, me finish. You're, you're, You've done most of the talking. Okay, go ahead, please. He married her when she was six, and we know that he consummated. I won't even call it a marriage. You don't have to call it anything. You, you just said we know that, that you agree. That, that we know that he had sex with her when she was nine. Listen, I've just agreed, no problem. I'm saying to you this. No, it is a problem. It okay, is a problem. Is a problem. No, it is. Of course, it's a problem. Okay, it is okay. a problem. No, no for problem. Me, and it's a problem for a lot of people in the world. No problem. But it should it be a problem. problem. So, so what? It's uh, a problem for, for so, grown so, men having sex with a nine-year-old. So girl. Jesus was wrong to say to well, hold up. Jesus. I've already said it doesn't what? say go and have sex. So what does it say? It doesn't say you just take them for yourself. We're gonna do with them. Take them for yourself. We're gonna do with them. It doesn't say have sex. We're going to do with them. It doesn't say We're have do sex. Them. We're going to do with them. It doesn't have say sex? have sex. Can you have sex? But we know that can your, have sex prophet, can you have your sex? prophet did have sex adult, with a nine-year-old girl. Adult, according to that. Adult, we according, know that yeah. your prophet You're not answering my questions. You're not answering my questions. We know that. Yeah, I've already said. I've answered it when I said it doesn't, adult, say, adult. It doesn't say have sex. I'm saying can. Are you allowed? Is allowance given? It doesn't say Is allowance given? Yes or no? I don't know. It doesn't say have sex. But here's the reality. What we know. No problem. It doesn't yeah. matter. The reality, what we do know is that your prophet what, had sex with a nine-year-old. No problem. What we That's do what know is your friend's nose in the glass. So, so, no, no, yeah, yeah, I, exactly. I'm not throwing so, 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 so you just said... I'm take, speaking out against wait, anybody, wait, wait, any grown man who has sex. So Jesus, your God, was wrong so when he was saying having sex. If the Bible says that, then we can we can see for ourselves. All right, so is so it right or wrong? So get it out and tell me. Said, take I don't need to get it out. Yes, okay. Take the young ones for yourself. Okay. Young ones. Young ones have never known a man. Never known a man. Okay, yeah. Okay, so what are you going to do it say? Does it say have sex with them? That's allowance. According to that, according to hold on, 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 hold on. Here's here's what here, here's where you're cornered. With all due respect, yeah. Listen to me. Does it say let have me sex speak. with them? There now, and now you're getting oh, triggered. No, 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 you're okay, getting triggered. Get you're getting triggered now. Does it say have sex with them? Let me speak. There let, me speak. There let me speak. Let me speak. Let me speak. Let me speak. I'm not saying that it says have sex. Sorry. 
You said something. You said something. Can you repeat it again? I don't listen to you. He said something in my opinion. Okay, okay. I don't listen to me. Listen to me. I'm I've not I have not said that the you can you can have sex with a command. I'm saying is giving allowance. Do you understand? That's what you're hold, saying. Hold on, hold on. That's what hold you're on. saying. Hold on. Are you making the claim that in Islam it says you have to have sex with a child? I'm, I'm making the claim that your prophet married a No, no, okay, okay. That's the claim no, I'm making. No, no, so, so good. And therefore... Good, good, good. So it's not... No, no, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, so let me finish. Nine, nine. And there, says therefore, six. therefore, yeah. as it's claimed that he's the greatest example for humankind... No problem. There, no, no, there, there is a problem. Is that, is that, is that immoral? Problem. Immoral. There are many people in the Islamic world yeah. who see that as a green light to get married to a child. No problem. And then have sex with Is that your argument? He then had sex with a nine-year-old girl. Okay, I've got, I've got it. He had I've got, I've, got, I've got it. I've got it. My response to you is this. You've uh, listened to this. Very interesting, yeah? He said he agreed with me. I don't agree that the Bible is authored by the Trinity. That Jesus is part of the Trinity. The Old Testament is part of the Bible. Therefore, Jesus, he agreed, is the author of the Old Testament. Now, in that, we also said... Jesus is the author of the Old Testament, yeah? That's all been agreed. Now, we looked at Numbers, chapter number 31, verse number 18. And it says, the young ones who have never known a man, take them for yourself. Talking about girls. Young girls that have never known a man. Young ones never are now. He said that now with Islam, Men in the Middle East, I don't know what country is talking about, they take the Prophet as a you guide. Know, uh, yeah, uh, well, no, no problem. Numerous Islamic countries. Okay, numerous Islamic countries. Okay. No problem. Uh, we said that. He hasn't been. Yeah, yeah you know, hunches and anecdotes, but no problem. Hunches and anecdotes. It, it isn't an anecdote. No, it's well a document. Well documented. There are, no problem. There are, okay. girls, there are girls who are adult, let me, die let me, as a result. Okay, no problem. So it's well documented. Let me finish. Now, the Talmud, which is the jurisprudential text of the Jewish people, for example, Not the word of God. Let me finish what I'm saying. If your argument is that this book is leading this action, my arg counter argument to you that the Babylonian Talmud and the Jeru there are two major Talmuds, the Jerusalem Talmud and the Babylonian Talmud. The Babylonian Talmud, the exegetes, or those, uh, those uh, kind of, uh, you can call them spiritual leaders, that were making a reference to chapter 31, verse 18 of Numbers, they understood it as having sex with young girls, taking them as slaves and having sex with them. My question to him was, before, is it wrong in any time and place to have sex with young girls? He said, yes. Now, if Jesus is the one who is commanding something which is allowing sex with young girls, it doesn't mention sex. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It doesn't mention. Hold on, hold on. Well, but no, that's no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sex. Hold on. Is he said something which allow, which people understood the primary audience? He's saying it's about guiding. How about how people understood it sociologically? Mm. Well, then the same argument can be made about Jews. They understood it as what as having sex with young girls. If that is the case, that an injunction of the of a text mm -hmm. that uh, can be understood in a manner which would have the net effect of leading to sex with young girls, yeah. then that's exactly happened with chapter 31, verse 18. Of, of the and the evidence of that... Young girls. Uh, listen, no, no, that's well, that you're, you're no, changing no, no, the goalposts. No, 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 no. You're changing the goalposts. I'm not. You're changing the goalposts. No, I'm not. You're changing the goalposts. How many? If Moses you're changing the goalposts. Moses is the author of young Mentioned Moses is the author of numbers. No, no, but if you leave that for now. Yeah. Moses okay. is the if author never had of numbers. Sex with young girls, no, no, okay. they Did Moses never marry a child? No, no. How yeah. many of the Old I'm, Testament I'm, prophets I'm, that's got married? You're changing the goalposts. You're changing the goalposts. You're changing the goalposts. You are changing the goalposts. Your prophet married a child. Okay, you've known. Okay, keep saying that. Your God. Stop, 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 please. Stop, 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 How many of these prophets in the Old Testament? No problem. Children? Uh, my question is. That's, if not, I, that's my question. That's my question. Uh, okay, you can argue, Isaac. You can, you can argue that. You can, but why? Isaac, Isaac got married to a three-year-old. You can argue. Three -year -old. You're talking. Hold on, hold on. Where did you, you, you get that from? Him? Him? Please, please. Him? You can argue. <laughs> Isaac did not get married to a three-year-old. Hold on a second. Adol. Rebecca was not three years of age. Adol, please listen. Adol, listen. Hold on, wait, wait, Lot had sex with his hold daughters. On, hold on, hold Lot, on. Yeah. According okay. to the Bible. Okay. Lot had sex Rebecca with his daughters. Is that okay? Was not three years of age. Wait, hold on. Let me, she was feeding uh, the camel. Lot had sex with him. Lot had sex with his daughters in the Bible. He did. Was it right? No, we say this. Was it right? Your understanding was it right? We don't believe in it. Was it right? Was he right? It. Was he right to do that? We don't believe in that happened. No, no, okay. I'm saying that the Bible says You're all over the place, Ado. You are all, all over the place. You just asked me a question. You just asked me a question. Ado, excuse me, excuse me. 
You just asked the question, how many prophets of the Old Testament married a child? Yes. I'm saying, okay, so what is your... Has a... Has a this has a presupposition that the prophets in the in the Old Testament are depicted in a manner which is morally acceptable. I said, okay, are you talking about the same Old Testament that says that Lot had sex with his daughters or the same Old Testament in the book of Genesis where Noah came out naked in front of Ham his, his, uh, uh, by the way Ham was it right? my question, I'll get back to my let question. me finish was it let, me, right? let me finish no no I've let you finish was it right do you want to time it was it Lot do you want to time it was it, was do you want to time it was it right do you want to time it I've asked a simple question was, was it right, it right according not? to whom to God was it right we don't believe that happened my friend okay you don't believe it happened we okay. do not believe it happened okay objectively speaking if it happened you don't believe we don't it believe happened. that it can okay, happen with a prophet you don't believe it happened. We don't believe it can happen. Okay. You don't believe what? You don't believe a man can commit sin? No, we believe. You that don't believe a prophet can. You don't understand what I'm. You see, you, this is where conversation deteriorates. You're not understanding what I'm saying. I'm understanding. You're not understanding what I'm saying. Prophets commit sin. Okay, no All problem. All of the prophets commit sin. No problem. The you only can... one who was without sin is Jesus. Okay, okay. okay God. Now you're. Bro, well, please, please, yeah. Listen. What I'm saying to you is this. What I'm saying to you is this. See how this guy came, yeah. yeah? He came, he said, your prophet had said with Aisha, we've heard that a thousand times before course, the yeah, re great. recycle tape. We no great. problem. We came and said, okay, fine. Mm. This is where we are in the conversation right now. He said, because of your prophet's actions, people in the Muslim world, right? He said, people in the Muslim people. Yeah, numerous people in the Muslim world are having sex with women to the point where they can't even survive Girls. the first night. Yeah, correct? Yeah. You, that's his argument. Okay. Therefore, because of that, Islam is not a good religion or whatever it may be because it's leading to this kind of action i'm saying if it's the case it's not a question whether it's a good religion uh, okay whatever it's a question uh, of whether it's the truth Co okay no problem it's not the truth therefore it's not the truth okay no but even stronger even stronger argument now here i'm saying this if that is your argument that some text of a scripture leads others to understand that it's okay to have sex with young females then the text of numbers chapter 31 verse 18 which has been understood by rabbis for thousands of years which says that take the young girls for yourself slave enslaving them number one enslaving them then having sex with them that text by the way would have this mention having sex with them. It what does it mention no, it says have okay. them for yourself which have I've never known a man before. Okay. The context was understood to the rabbis as allowance for sexual intercourse. And that's why I asked the question. Now, how many people, it. how many prophets in the Old Testament? Now, that's actually, got nothing to do with what I'm it saying. Has, it has. So it has. if we're talking about legitimate, whether it's legitimate. You, you see how you, it. it's, it's done, bro. No, no. It's done. I'm sorry, sorry. We, you, 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 we're talking if, about if whether it's Jesus right or wrong. Christ is the author of the Old Testament, as you agreed that he was, then this commandment. He said that Moses spoke of me. It doesn't matter. He's still the author Jesus of the. Jesus said he. Moses doesn't matter. He's the one inspiring mix. Moses because he's part of the Triune God. You agreed to that before. Don't try yeah, and run away from I'm him not now. Running away from him at all. Great. I believe so in the God of so the your God, a your God, no your God, your God allowed your God, according to you, allowed men to take young girls and do whatever they want with them. Is that so good or bad? Looking, if you're looking that at the false? Old Testament, if you're yeah. looking at the Old Testament, yeah, say it now. where God says, yeah. go and slay those people in that country. Yeah, yeah. Does that mean murder is right? If I, if I take that. Is, is God sanctioning murder? Oh, yes, no, yes, he isn't. Yes, yes. No, he isn't. He isn't. So you look at the context of that. Why not? He isn't sanctioning Why not? For the simple reason he's already said in the Ten Commandments that murder is wrong. Yeah, but except in this okay. situation. Except in the situation where you go and do he genocide. Said in this he said in this, in this context there, the Ten Commandments that murder is wrong. No, it's wrong, but it's okay in this context where you're going into a new city with the Amalekites, uh, uh, Second Samuels, where you can kill everything, man, woman, child, and even the donkey. What are you talking about? If God, okay, if God, what's worse, having sex with someone, it is arguable, I don't know what you're going to say. Having sex with a child or killing the child. I don't know which one's worse. I don't know. I actually don't know. Having sex with a child, when I say a child here, I'm talking, let's say about five-year-old. Let's say, what say going? Five-year-old. Having sex with a five-year-old, is that worse? Or killing the five-year-old, is that worse? Which one is worse? Are they both bad? They're both bad. Okay, great, great. They're now, Jesus is the author of the Old Testament. <laughs> Did he command to killing children? God commanded to kill people in the Old Testament, correct? Including, including yeah. children? God commanded, yes. If is God that right or wrong? God commanded it. If God commanded it, he's the author of life. God is the author of life. Okay.
Okay. Okay. By the way, you're finished now. Okay. By the way, you're done now. God is the you're author of life. You know you're done. God in the you know he's done now. You know he's done. You know he's done. You know he's done. You know you're finished. Go and kill them. Yeah, so it's okay. So it's okay to kill a child if Jesus does it. It's okay. That's what God says. But we're talking about uh, the example What are you here. doing here? The example, what are you doing in front of me? The example, what are you doing in front of me? The example, see, here you are. No, honestly, what are you doing in front of me? Yeah, I'm asking about your religion. No, but you failed. I'm asking, it doesn't matter you, about whether it's not okay, about we okay. meet faith. You, might, you may leave now. You care. You may you leave care now. about your ego. You, know, you need done. a reputation. It's done. You need I'm followers not, online. I don't need it. It's I done. don't need followers. Okay, good. I couldn't no, care less about followers. It's done now. I couldn't care less about popularity. No problem. You know me. I'm poor. You know me, yes. I know that you need followers. Okay, great. And you okay. need pop. You, need I'm I'm about you know what? Islam will it's turn on you. I, okay, no problem. You're because finished. you're such a gift okay. against Islam. Okay, thank you. Islam will turn if on you. If I was such a gift, you wouldn't be standing in front of me. <laughs> Islam will turn on you. With a cross. All the people, <laughs> all, all the people who are laughing and supporting you today, I'm telling you now, they're going to turn on you. Okay, let them. You, Islam will turn on you. Children. Yeah. The same people okay, will so, turn so, on you. Yeah, summary, summary. Not the summary is this. Summary is this. The summary is this. Summary is this. There are little girls today who are dying today. There were little girls a couple of thousand years so, so, ago got murdered. Su summary. He just admitted oh, yeah, he that so long as his so, God says it, there are little girls today who are dying. Right. Killing a they're child dying away. today yeah. because they're away. following yeah. the example of your prophet. So it's okay. Your so prophet as... married okay. a six-year-old girl that now, bro? Who, and, then, that? Who went and then had sex with her and, uh, yeah. when she was nine. Massive, uh, did Jesus, any, do uh, okay. Jesus, Jesus do that? Okay, Jesus did Jesus commanded to kill a child, did, though, right? Jesus did not marry did, a child. Did, did, did Jesus command Jesus to kill a child? Jesus didn't lie. Did Jesus command Jesus to kill a child? Yes or no? didn't kill anybody. Did Jesus command to kill a child? Jesus didn't kill anybody. Answer my question. Answer my question. It is how it works. Answer my question. If I tell you to kill someone you go kill someone i can tell myself i didn't kill him but you did and then the law will come back onto me saying i'm part of it because i said you are of course yes. so jesus but told jesus, you to but jesus didn't tell jesus of the murder but jesus didn't tell did, jesus didn't kill anybody he didn't marry i'm any asking child. you no, okay. if, did jesus ask to kill a, did jesus command the amalekites to be this again you're talking about the old testament doesn't matter like, it doesn't do matter it. Did he do it yes or no? Did he do it yes or no? Because those people are coming against the people of Israel. It does matter. Does he do it yes or no? I've already answered that. I've already answered that. I've already answered that. Yes or no? I've already answered that. Yes or no? Yes or no? Where I said God commanded. God commanded them to go and kill them. Did he do it yes or no? I've already answered that. Did he do it yes or no? I've already answered that. God commanded them to go and kill them. Including the children. Why didn't kill them all? Jesus. That's what he said. It's just God. Okay. It's just God. And God. No, I don't. Okay. No, no, no. Hold on. So Jesus commanded to kill a child. God can kill if he wants to because he's God he can take but life said, and he can give life he can kill here's the here's the, here's the, here's the, here's the, here's the example what can we say here's the example God sent a flood throughout the world the only people who survived the only people who survived was Noah and it is God who can do everything God life can take away it's done God can anything else is there any more I couldn't care less about popularity. Much. What's that got to do with what we're talking about? I mean, again, yeah. Regarding Aisha. She was engaged to Mutam okay. Bin Zubayr. And but no, 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 don't defend it. No, 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 please don't say she was in all, no, no, all no, 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 don't do it. Don't say she was in the back foot. Leave it. Don't lie. Don't lie. Don't be He wasn't going to say that. He wasn't going to say that. He wasn't going to lie. He's weak. He's going to destroy. It doesn't matter. I don't care. I'm so glad I'm weak. I'm so glad I'm weak. Brought it up. Because God says. You just know you've lost the I couldn't care about winning arguments. Scoring points no, or being it, popular. No, but it makes what a matters? Difference. What matters? You're responsible with yeah, for what matters? What matters is the responsible for people. What matters is condemning them. What matters is your so-called and you don't care. Your so-called prophet. Okay, married a child and children are dying today. Okay, that's all you can say. Well, I do care. No, 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 I do care. Are we done? Are we done here with this guy? I care about your soul going to hell. Let's go over here. Let's talk. He's done now. You just turn around. There is no salvation. Yeah, just come over here. Let's talk. This guy's done now. That's where he's he's finished. Run out bullets. Go on. Let's go. Then it's in the Old Testament. So as we saw, open up, man. Your one's good. Your one looks all right. As we saw there, with that discussion, he started off with a very well-known interrogation. And then it's the when he when why. when wait, wait, he wait, wait, when wait, when then the we started why. to there is to no investigate his own beliefs. Islam. Excuse me, please, please we saw the most unusual no and disturbing of double standards. 
There is no he stated very clearly Islam. that Jesus there is no commanded to kill the people, and kill children, and kill and animals, why? kill women. When you're following a man, so why are you coming and telling girl? us about the Prophet's marriage to Aisha? Why? We've already explained that there are certain things. We've already explained that the Prophet married Aisha. What is capable of doing that? Are you really comparing that with the killing of a child? You also call Prophet the greatest example. Yeah. Anyway, it's done now. Uh, uh, there's nothing more one God can say. He likes. It's done. Yeah, exactly. It's finished. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 We've never met. But why don't you? Why, why, why you can't get not straight, Mike? If you look at the same standard. It's why little girls are dying today. What's your name? It's why little girls are dying today. So, Muhammad. Because they're following this example. For 2,000 years, your church has killed and abused even both. As we see, there's so many misconceptions that people have of the religion of Islam. They try and deplete the nuances from the want. religion of Islam I couldn't by care attacking, about not listening, I couldn't care not, about not engaging. I'm not here but for then friends. when we put I'm the for arguments to them, we realize that they don't really have much to offer. So this is a place where we make our arguments we believe we have the strong ones. And even the most, what we would consider the most antagonistic interrogations of the religion of Islam, we're able to answer them. And now he's heckling. He's heckling. He has resorted to heckling. You're trying to yeah. justify. Not you. Not you. He's heckling. We're done with it. Out of context. Context. If you don't want popularity, why do you keep coming into my cameras, brother? Yeah, 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 we're done with it. We're finished. Good good yeah, we, don't, we don't need you anymore. But Islam will turn on you. Okay, great. All your followers yeah. will so turn on you. So, into the camera, so let it be recorded. moving on. Yeah, moving on. Your followers How will turn on you. How long have you been coming down here? On and off for about six or seven years. Six or seven years, I think. Six years. During that time, I'm here. I'm led to believe you have a channel. Correct, yes. Talk to me about and Jesus. How many followers? Talk to me about Jesus. Jesus. I don't know. He knows no, more no, about no, no, my no, no, no. <laughs> It's not about followers. I'm just getting to a point, yeah. He knows how more about my popularity than I do, you know? No, no. So over the years, how many followers I know that's what you want. have you managed to... I know that you, your <laughs> ego is like... Let's pretend, you need let's that, pretend ego that I have massage. a big ego. It doesn't mean Christianity yeah. is true. Yeah. No, no, no. But let, even if I was the worst man in the world, even if I was the worst man in the world with the biggest ego and the, and the hugest, the most ferocious appetite for popularity, it wouldn't make Islam false or it wouldn't make Christianity true. Coming back to my point, Nothing you in can regards do to your the followers, truth. The truth how many the followers truth. over the last six years have you managed to accumulate? Is that because you want to know for your own channel? Yeah, no, no, there you go. No, no. no, the reason I'm asking you the question, sir, He's going to get jealous, no, this man. No, the reason I'm he needs, this man needs to know that jealousy is a dangerous yeah, game, especially dangerous. if you play it with me. Yeah. Surely if people follow you, they must believe He's in now, what eh? you are saying. Me? Yeah, so yeah you. No, no, not necessarily. He's following me. He's an avid fan. He doesn't believe a single word I say. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, but tell me, in regards to Speaker's Corner, what is it about this place that attracts so many different people speaking about religion? What is it specifically here? Is it because you can engage... I'll be honest with you, my friend. What's your name? So my name is Wendell Daniel from Street Mike. Okay, uh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, sir. My name is Wendell Daniel, and what I'd From like street to do, mate, like, yeah? street Mike, and what I'd like oh, Mike. to do, yeah, yeah. I'd like to engage with people. No, I understand. Ask some look, look. The thing is, look, we as Muslims, yeah. yeah, when it comes to mainstream media, I had a conversation with the BBC right here over there. I was having a conversation. When we, when, when we get into mainstream media, mm. it's always a narrative that's not ours. Mm. It's always we are fitted within the greater hegemonic narratives of the powers that be. Mm. In this place, they have not been able to manipulate our speech. What we're saying is unfiltered. Uh, when we overpower our enemies, not through ourselves, but because we have stronger argumentation, that is allowed to be broadcast. And that's been happening now to a point of great frequency with different people here. And the reason why Sunni Muslims in particular have been able to get the kind of uh, following in this place as it has and they have been able to do what they've been doing is simply because it's a bit like survival of the fittest okay the, the best ideas they raise to the top i've not seen a single person in six years of coming to speaker's corner convert to christianity in this place not one person and why do you think that is because it's a false faith <laughs> hey, yeah right no, yeah honestly, right 
right. people are disillusioned right. keep with the idea of the Trinity, idea that God is man, that the, the, the Bible is from God. And the amount of Muslims of who email us saying fallacy. that we're out, fallacy of we're out of this this cult. See, look, the, the, we're see, out. see it's, it's interesting that he re he references the emails that he gets of Muslims leaving, not Christian people becoming Christian. But I'm not interested in him. I'm, I'm interested in you. Yes. What advice would you give for those? who are considering the possibility of coming down to Speaker's Corner to engage just like yourself. What advice would you give to those? I'd give the advice that, look, you know, you have to have your arguments ready, yeah. especially if they're from our side. Mm. You know, we have a verse in the Quran where Abraham says, That these are our arguments that we gave to Abraham against his people. So we believe that, you know, having arguments, having the sharpened sword arguments come into speaker's corners are prerequisite, you know, and at the end of the day, if one doesn't, because look, this man came to me, I didn't come to him. He came to me with a series of hunches and anecdotes. I'll give you guys, I'm talking about this happening in the Muslim world, and that's what, whatever. And then when he's confronted, oh yeah, 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 we've heard it. Well, and, then, and then when, the we, when he's confronted with a Islam. range of sociological arguments, theological arguments, the little scriptural girls. arguments, exactly. and philosophical arguments, he's, he's left to conclude, for example, that Jesus Christ can command to kill a child. That's okay. But the Prophet marrying Aisha at a certain age after he waited for her to be ready, that's not okay. You're conflating the Israelites being at war in the Old Testament. I hear you, but final, with the New question, final question. What can be done to in encourage more women to come here to debate? I think people like this have to leave the park because <laughs> <laughs> people like me and you, the handsome ones, they can come. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm only king. But you know, I think people, the reason why women are not, uh, you know, attracted to this place is because of the vulgarity associated with it. The and vulgarity. Many men. Yeah, inhospitable environment. Mm. You know, you have too people. Too much violence. Too much violence. Yes. In the head. Oh yes. And people, and, and not only that, people if provoking other people as well. Okay, to provoke to violence. Yes. Yeah, pro okay. provocations From to violence. From the religion of peace. But thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. You're very welcome. But earlier on, yes. you said you're now going to sum up with your team. Why is that bit, the summary, important? A summary is always important because if you can't say something in a few words, you can't say it at all. Mm. You know, Albert Einstein himself, he defined genius as being able to take a complex idea and summarize it in very important points. So the summaries that we leave for the people at the end of our discussions, are actually, and in fact, in psychology, there's something called recency effect, primacy effect and recency effect. A recency effect is the, the impression someone is left with at the end of a discussion. So people tend to begin to remember the beginning and the end of something. As we have seen today, the beginning of my argumentation and the end of this man's career. Hold on a second. Hold on. I, I, yeah, I don't want popularity. And so talking about the end of career, let's talk about the holes in the narrative. What, let's talk about that from last no year. No problem. Let's What's talk about the holes in the narrative. Yeah. The biggest hole of the narrative we've seen today is when a man says that having intercourse with a person of a certain age, which is disputed, might be morally unacceptable, but then says that uh, uh, killing a child can be acceptable if Jesus commands to it. I think that's a big hole in the narrative of infallibility, of biblical it's inerrancy. God who gives life of, and God takes of, away of life. Yes, yes, so okay. Jesus can kill who he likes. God can the kill. The greatest example. God can rape. So, God can but rape. God doesn't do that. God oh, he can command to God it as well. God, God doesn't do that. Anyway. Yeah. And he never mentioned that in the scriptures. He, he, he oh, never okay. mentioned that. We've God, covered his that. God, he did this very even the animal. Kill kills the cattle, he kills the animal. That's God. Touch the baby that's against God. rock. That's God. That's his God. In the Old Testament. The blessing is the, the one who does Israel. it. That's right. So he doesn't this do one of This is one of the reasons that this is why people leave Christianity. They look at the Amalekites. Don't leave in it anything that breathes. It's a, it, there's no verse in the Quran today. equivalent to that. There's because no verse in the Quran. Teachings. There is no verse teachings. in the Quran equivalent to the little kill the men, today. the women, the, the livestock, and even teachings. the donkeys. Burn everything. Burn everything. Kill everything. Burn everything. Kill the donkeys. And he dared. And he dared to talk. He cared more about donkeys than little girls. And he did. And he cared more about donkeys. Imagine how you would have to kill the donkey. Imagine, imagine it, please. He's a child. He's a gentleman. For the last two thousand years. Imagine. They abuse everyone. Imagine. What's your name, brother? Yahya. Yahya. Imagine. Imagine the situation where someone's going around with a knife. The donkey's minding his own business, and he gets stabbed. He cared more about the donkeys than the little girls. The little girls in the Islamic. 
make you you're, you're not, well. No, you care more the, about the, that. The worst, the worst. His salvation is dependent about the killing of his own son. The father, he forsake his own son. That's and right. without the blood, right. That's no right. blood, no salvation. So sin See and how Dracula a bloody <laughs> God he has. <laughs> See how bloody God he has. I like As opposed it. to well, yeah. well done, kissing a black 